A top priority of the Obama administration, and in particular NTIA, is to preserve and enhance the multi-stakeholder model that has been a hallmark feature of these global internet institutions that have been responsible for the success of the internet. Maintaining the openness, transparency, and user choice of today's internet can only be sustained and advanced in a world where all stakeholders participate in relevant decision making and not one where governments or other set of stakeholders dominate. We believe that preserving our existing institutions while extending this model to other aspects of internet policy making is important for ensuring the continued growth and innovation of the internet. Today, I would like to discuss some recent events where we have made substantial progress on our goal to protect and enhance the multi-stakeholder process for internet governance. First, many of you know that I've devoted a lot of time in speeches and in the last year generally to the accountability and transparency of ICANN, the multi-stakeholder organization that coordinates the domain name system. Starting last year, as one of its commitments to the global internet community as set forth in the affirmation of commitments, ICANN undertook a detailed review of its accountability and transparency. I had the privilege of participating on the team that conducted this review. And this team was truly multi-stakeholder. We had members from around the globe, including China, Egypt, and South America. And these representatives were there to represent various elements of the global internet community, such as registries, registrars, users, and governments. 